Hello, welcome to the Wild Gut Project. My name is Carrie, it's all about being vegan and low FODMAP. And today I'm sharing with you my sort of simple meal prep to set me up for the week, quite a busy work week. So yeah, I'm gonna be covering some breakfast and lunch. And I'm really sorry about the lighting. If I film this at midday, would you believe, which I usually film with natural light and it was just so, so dark and it's so dark now. And yeah, I need to buy a lighting rig. Anyway, on with the recipe. So I'm using this meal maker guide, which you can download through the link below. Um, I'm using tofu for the protein elements. I'm using some gluten-free buckwheat pasta for the kind of starchy grain. I'm gonna use some macadamia nuts and I'm gonna use uh, various lettuce, lettuces, which are all format free. And then I'm using some squash as well. So that's kind of how I'm putting the recipe together using this. So kicking things off with the squash, I'm chopping it into little pieces after scooping out the seeds of course and popping those then into a baking tray, drizzling them in a little bit of olive oil, making sure they're coated well and then putting them in a preheated oven that's gas mark 6 or about 200 degrees celsius. So while they're cooking away I'm going to make a snack, so chopping up some carrots which are FODMAP free and then I'm going to have those with a portion of loaf of map hummus, so I've made this without garlic basically. Um, the recipe for this you'll find or you'll be given when you download the meal maker guide and I'm just topping it with some cumin for some extra flavour and that's all set for my kind of afternoon snack. So on with breakfast, I'm going to be making kind of overnight oats, they're just very flexible, can be turned into a porridge or a kind of birchen cold dish. So. I'm just adding in some protein powder, three tablespoons of rice or pea, and then four tablespoons of chia seeds. And then I'm going to be adding a bit of cinnamon. And when I say a bit, I mean liberally apply loads because it's really good for you. And then I'm also going to add a tiny bit of turmeric, just enough that you won't taste it, but you know, very good for you. And I was mixing all those together. I know if I'm really busy in the morning, I wouldn't bother to add the seeds or I wouldn't bother to add the protein powder. So if I do it now, it saves lots of time in the morning and I'll definitely eat it. And then I'm adding some water right now just to get them soaking and you get more nutrients from the chia seeds this way as well. And it helps you digest the oats. So I'm just gonna add a bit more so it's fully saturated and then adding a little bit of vanilla extract as well for good luck. And that's all set, ready to go in the fridge. So this should make three to four servings. I'm just going to scoop out that quarter or third into a bowl and either have it cold with an unripe banana or some coconut yogurt or pop it in the microwave along with some frozen berries to make a very low effort porridge. And I can just get on with my morning getting ready. Then it's back onto lunch. I'm soaking half a cup of macadamia nuts in boiling water just because it helps it soften up quicker. And while that's happening, I'm going to chop up some smoked tofu. This is the tofu one with two O's, which I absolutely love. It's got nothing in it apart from tofu and it's smoked and has an amazing flavor. Um, comment down below if you love it too. It's just, I love it. And yeah, tiny little pieces like that. I like to use it as kind of pretend bacon obviously less gross and then I'm going to gently fry it with a little bit of olive oil I want it just to dry up a little and crisp and then when I'm happy with that I'm going to tear in some sage you could use dried sage but I've just got three leaves here from the garden and I like the way these kind of go when they go a bit crispy when you fry them while that cooks I'm also going to put some buckwheat penne onto boil you could use another loaf of mat pasta and then I'm going to put some soy sauce onto the tofu just to really amp the umami flavour. And that's ready. Meanwhile, the squash has been cooked, maybe a little bit too much, but we're working with it. And I poured away some of the water from the macadamia nuts and I'm adding that squash in, leaving a little aside for garnishing later. And I'm just going to blend those up. I'm also going to add about one cup of plant-based milk, use something like almond milk, which is low FODMAP. And once that is nice and smooth, I'm going to add in some nutritional yeast, about two tablespoons. And then I'm going to add a bit of garlic, confused olive oil, and about one tablespoon worth of lemon juice, which just freshens it up a bit. I'm transferring that over to a bowl, just because it's much easier to combine everything, obviously. And I'm adding a bit of seasoning, so salt and pepper to taste, but it is an important element. And then I'm going to add in some fresh parsley. This is another one I would do to taste. I like a lot of parsley, but follow your preference. And then I'm adding in the penne, which I left soaking in the water too long while I was faffing with my camera. Um, so that's not ideal, but it was okay. <laughs> and I'm just going to stir that through in the sauce, making a nice creamy pasta that's full of goodness. Okay. 
And then I'm going to put that fake smoky bacon topping on there with the sage, just into thirds. This stuff really adds to the whole kind of experience of the dish. And then I'm adding in some mixed leaves. I think it's mostly lamb's lettuce and watercress. And there's also a little bit of spinach. That would go a bit easier on the spinach and more with the watercress. And then I'm just topping with the leftover pieces of squash. And that is all ready to go for my lunch tomorrow. And then I've also got my hummus and my carrots. And I've got my breakfast sorted with the banana. And of course the soaked oats. And I'm done. I hope that was helpful and I'll see you next week with another video. Bye.